You participated in the docu-series. Why was it important for you to be a part of that? I would say the biggest reason that I sat down was for my kids. The entertainment industry is not the only industry that punishes people for coming forward about a toxic work environment or abuse in the workplace. Ooh, cute boy to left, green shirt, backpack. Alexa was just 12 years old when she starred for two seasons alongside Jamie Lynn Spears on Zoe 101. Access was on the set in 2004. All right, go ahead and give me your real name. Alexa Nicholas. And uh, who do you play? I play Nicole. In the Quiet On Set docuseries, Alexa brings new allegations against the show's creator, Dan Schneider, seen here behind the scenes whispering in Alexa's ear on the 2004 set. And the most important rule, nothing that anyone says or does leaves this room. He was really the problem on, on, on set, well, other than the kid bullying situation, but that's also kids. So he was the adult. Yeah. And so it's a little bit of a, you know, different scenario. And the wardrobe for me was always very different than Jamie's. Um, mine was always like short skirts and like fitted tops, even like off the shoulder. How about this top? You like this top? It makes me look chesty. Dan Schneider would come into the wardrobe fittings and I would come out and I would do the spin and then they would take the, the Polaroid of me and then he would say, can I have the Polaroids at the end? Now, when I look back at that, that's weird. Why does he want those Polaroids? Why does it really matter to him what I'm wearing? And he picked a lot of the times short skirts. The notion that I had the power to just produce whatever I wanted and have it air is completely false. In an interview posted on the Dan Warb YouTube channel after the docuseries was released, Schneider said the wardrobe on the show went through layers of approval beyond him, though he did acknowledge and apologize for certain past behavior. Was there fear around if you expressed concern, there would be punishment or passive aggression? A lot of being in the industry is discomfort as a child star. And what you don't want to be is problematic or complain too much or honestly complain at all because you see what happens to other friends of yours that have tantrums on set, they don't work again. And Alexa has started her own movement, Eat Predators, to help end predatory behaviors within the industry.